So we at FPU um, have a lot of adjunct um, faculty, a lot of adjunct contracts. No, no surprise, many uh, higher ed institutions are dealing with that. It was all manual. It was all paper. It was I was doing I was doing some to help uh, automatically generate a mail merge document out of Salesforce, but they still had to fill out some information on it, get some signatures on it, physically mail it to the adjuncts. You know, just a ton of overhead involved there. So we wanted an e-signature solution and. One one of the people who was on the team was like, well, "What about this sign now piece?" And I was like, "Okay, well, yeah. I mean, hey, we're we're I'm ready to learn here. Let's figure out what's going to be best for us." When we saw it, I was I was absolutely like super excited about all the possibilities with the AirSlate platform, just because of all of the different uh, things that could be done with it. So um, still still you know it was e-signature piece was the most was the most important part but i was like well but if we can do that and it can integrate with salesforce and take care of our adjunct piece then let's do it so went with that um and we've we so my first my the first rollout the, well the only thing that's that's integrating into salesforce right now is the adjunct contract it adjunct teaching assignment piece um, that's been working out uh, very well. And so they, they generate from the, the, the record in Salesforce, it goes to the uh, dean who signs it, then it goes to the adjunct who signs it and comes back in and, and you know, HR is aware and then they're, then they're paid. Um, um, one of the things I was looking at it for was what, wondering whether or not it could be a tool, a platform that could uh, replace our, our existing e-form solution and we thought and so now that we're now that we're in the ecosystem in the airsla ecosystem i thought it might be something that we can look at that's kind of nutshelling it here for you for in terms of um in terms of the immediate use and then far future uses um the um the salesforce integration for the adjunct pieces and then just uh quick uh, uh, workflow slates just to you know, get the signatures. That's been uh, really, really helpful. Right. Are there any other sort of dream uses, you know, a year in the future or just, you know, what, what would be the ideal thing that you use it for next? We are in the middle of um, moving from classic to lightning. And um, there are things that do and do not work anymore once you're moving to lightning. And I think that this is something that would help I think the air slate would be something that would help uh, be a part of the replacement. Uh, this um, this is something that would really definitely help uh, fill that gap for sure. Great. Um, no, nothing, no specific use cases, but that that idea as, as a part of the the tool set that helps us move to lightning, I think would be what I, what I can see. Right. Okay. Great. Are other departments and other teams um, in using? Uh, Airslate, and you're the only one that's just using the Salesforce integration, or are you um, the only team that's using Airslate at all? At, at, uh... Oh no, no. The the primary team, the, well, the primary set of users are the our dean's assistants uh, in each of the schools are the ones who are generating all the adjunct contracts. So there's so our, the number of licenses that we have, uh, one for each of them, and they're all using Salesforce. And then the then there's another two teams one is it and another is um uh title nine group yeah there and then um of the original set there was also somebody in um the uh counseling department that was also doing a lot of memorandum mous with a bunch of different uh, areas and so they were just using for the signature pieces not no salesforce integration there what was your experience setting it up you know getting yourself onboarded getting the integration working um what was your experience with that? Um, I had, I, I, I ran into something I couldn't describe, and it also befuddled uh, Christian Parkerana, I think was the guy's name, um, and it kind of had to escalate to text. It was one of those things like this should work. Why is it not working? And it got it got fixed. Um, but overall, I thought it was pretty smooth. Um, um, any um, any. Uh, results or, or sort of um, either qualitative or quantitative, just how it's making your, your life easier, how it's making your, your teams easier having this integration set up? Um, it's, 
for those who are using it, who, who, for those who had a lot of um, uh, hand done adjunct contracts, they just, they love that it works the way that it does. They're, they're, they've been really excited just because it cuts out so much overhead. Um, there was one, <laughs> there was one um, of the schools that had so many, they were just doing their own sort of separate process rather than printing one at a time and sending it to doing their own mail merge. They were running a report and doing a gigantic mass mail merge. Um, so just prior to moving them into just clicking these these one little buttons is when this whole switch happened to they're going to time entry so um they really never got to taste the sweet uh kool-aid that is uh air slate and uh, they, they um but they were they were previously completely against it because they had their process they knew what they wanted to do it wasn't harming anyone blah 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 heard it, heard it plenty of times before but based on the feedback from all the other Dean's assistance for all the other schools, they were like, mm, maybe I will check this out because they were just singing the praises so much. So that was, I thought, a real, real positive thing. It's, uh, I, I, it's, it's, an, it's one of those tools, AirSlate, that I feel like um, we're using um, a fraction of what it can do, and it's, and we just have not had the time released to kind of explore into more than what into more of what it can do or more it can do for us was there any was there ever like one moment that made you re realize that you absolutely needed to to start this was there any catastrophic problem or was it mostly just things were taking too long and you were being stretched too thin in the integration one of the big selling points for air slate was the uh, that it was licensed by um it, it was a user license and not an envelope or a package or whatever you want to call it license uh, that was that was a big deal because we spoke to users for every one of the platforms uh, multiple sets of users and we heard that oftentimes that they were going through the same sort of selection process you know you know this sounded great everything looked great until we got down to the pricing and things that's when things became very clear and until you realize that you're charged with the other companies for the mistakes you make, like the envelopes that are sent or whatever they call them and the different um, other tools, competitors' tools, if you make a mistake, you're still charged for those. <laughs> and then like the Dean's assistants are like, oh no, like, like it, that was just like such a big deal for them. And so that was really, really, um, not like they're making so many mistakes, but it just for whatever reason that really, really, really resonated with them. Like, oh, being I'm being charged for the so that was a that was a big deal. Um, so they were all very, very excited to get into an automated system, and they they've been they've been loving it. That's that's so great to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was great to meet you. Great to talk to you. You too, Ben. Yeah, thank you. Talk to you later. Bye. Enjoy your afternoon. All right. Bye.